One of the biggest opportunities facing the industry is that we've got bright, bright young people in the industry. We've got bright middle-aged people. We've got some good elderly people in the industry. There are some very dedicated people at the universities, the training colleges. There are some great people that are dedicated to getting this industry going or keeping this industry going and growing the industry. And that, I think, is very encouraging. As we can see, there are many great projects in South Africa to come where there is. Um, the boodskap uit te stuur dat die geleentede nog steeds in Suid-Afrika is, sal dit, sal dit een goeie uitwerking op, op ons student he. Our, our main purpose is always, and our goal, goal is always, to really exit good quality students that can add value to industry. So I'm here to study a structural detailing course, which I believe is going to, is going to be, bring about a lot of change in my company, because I believe I will be able to be a good asset to my company. I think um, more towards the money side of, of everything. So making money will be my first priority for that first year or second year after finishing. The one thing I like about the course is when you start doing these things and you walk into your airports and the malls and everywhere else, you look at the roof and you're like, oh, so this is what I do. Even when we went to Eastgate yesterday, like now whenever I go, I'm looking at the steel structures and now I know I'm like, yeah. and I'm like not your dad, I'm like, yeah, this is that, 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 you know? Yeah. Even and at the cricket stadium, everybody sees the cricket bass and all I see is the structures. Yeah. <laughs> so, they really like develop you to look at these things, you know, Ex like expand your mind to like steel, you know, and all you think about is steel whenever you go. I've been here about four years, teaching, and I love it. I love working with people, I love developing people, teaching them new things. They, they get here and some of them might know nothing and then by the end of the two years they like amuse me because they know so much, you know. So that, I think that makes my heart go funder because of what we develop and what we put out there. But you say maybe in 20 years driving past the building and seeing that that's the building that you built and knowing that that company is making a huge success and it wouldn't be possible without the work you have done. To be a part of that is like something special because you're a part of developing a country. The most phenomenal feeling would be knowing that you and a group of you, you know, your team, has, has come up with this amazing idea that you have actually built this bridge or this structure or whatever the case may be and you feel so overwhelmed by the feeling that you want to express it more, you want to do more, that will, that's your motivation because you are proud of your work. We didn't have that 10 or 15 years ago. We had a, a real lack of, of young people in the industry and we now have the young people. Challenge is getting the older guys to share that knowledge with them and to position them much better for the future. But I think we will be well positioned for the future and we will do well, I have no doubt about that.